How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Man of Maiden. Um, this is part 3. We just got onto the ghost ship, or the old military ship, after the fisherman came onto um, the main boat. Um, still don't know where Brad is. We haven't seen him for the majority of um, episode 2, so I'm curious where he is or where he's gotten himself. So uh, we'll see as it plays out. Whoops, didn't mean that. This whole place is a floating death trap. Hey, hey! <gasps> Did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Is this fucking place? Well, whatever this ship is, we gotta start figuring out how to get the fuck off of it. So, what's the standard nautical protocol for being kidnapped and imprisoned on an abandoned hell ship? We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss? I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. 
Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. This is very strange. What do you think this ship was? Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Faites que. C'est ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Va te faire foutre. Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Ton cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Junior. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Prisonniers On est en prison Charme. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, cet... cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on se fait seulement livrer les clés et là on se retrouve coincé sur ce radio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin tout ça. Vos gueules Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Back on the Duke, I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. <laughs> I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find what they're looking for. So, what do we do? Look, we need to either find a way out of this room, or we need to be ready to make a move when those fishermen come back. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Just be careful. I how they say they need to keep looking around to find a way out. This fucker is standing on the table, doing nothing. Nice one. Hi baby doll, I miss you like crazy, three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months I have been on some shore. Oh, shit. Miller? You... No, I'm not done yet. That seems pretty spooked. <clears throat> I've been on some shore, leave the guys, had a few beers. But don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and when I want to keep you safe. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. 
I'll be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic. We can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. I love you so much, Miller. Nice. What do you think? I can't get it open. Over here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Yeah, this is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Shit. Are we safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Jeez, maybe this is what scared everyone off. It's just so weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Right.
You hear that? Yep. Something moving around down there. What? Like what? Not sure I want to find out. Big boat, big engine. Identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of the cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. June 20th. I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment has been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growth of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the, sol to the soldiers, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. Conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel, oil, and fluid, which shower, shower, whatever, lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there is any loss of pressure. The ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm, which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused lots of electrical arching, traveling through hustling cables at off deck, which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I've received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are the electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers have helped matters despite the rough sea. There have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make sure to make a full damage assessment. Not actually sure if there was that all of it. I didn't mean to press circle. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet this ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed. But Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick and has been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a fella who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. B, he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holes just right. Real precise, not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. I got me thinking, what could it be inside those boxes? Friday the 13th. Ooh. 
Booze was a bomb loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but he said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch war. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on six to check it out. Saturday 14. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. Saul said he reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. It's all off. The guy who was going to help me get in the hole has been signed off sick. Doc fin fin Finley thinks he's some kind of flake, which might be true, but Miller says it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to get caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Perez said that the boys made more hooch, too bummed out to s sneak and try some, but what else is there to do? New batch is worse than the last one. Never listened to any damn fool idea from Perez ever again. Last night I was on duty with Wallowich and goddamn if he didn't creep me out. He got spooked and started blabbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckon that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes travelling home like our saps. I sneaked a look and Jesus there it was, just like the guy in the port had said, all laid out real nice old glory over each one. If it's Jones in there, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there, he'd make sure we all come. Think it's safe to grab it? We gotta go get it. Yeah, get go. Yeah. I guess it's not really such a good idea, huh? Okay. Qui est là? Je vous ai entendu. Qui est là? Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. this now.
was that? You hear that? What? I don't hear it. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? <laughs> Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Hey, babe, once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. this place. I'm thinking we gotta go through here. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Yeah, hey, story time. We haven't been out too long and I'm sick of the damn food already. That muck we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best with what we've got and I'm sure, but man, I'd kill for something fresh. First thing I'm going to do when we get home is having me a tall glass of cold milk. Every one of, uh, every one of the US papers was talking about that massacre in Philly. It's crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world trying to keep our country safe and there's people killing each other in the streets back home. I sure could use a beer after reading about home, but the captain has issued a ban on booze. Guess I'll be counting the sheep tonight. Some of the guys had a little wrestling competition in one of the cargo holds today. I did okay, but Wagner eventually knocked me out of it. I joked he should be disqualified on account of his size, but no dice. I'd take a whole crowd of people to pin it take a whole crowd of people to pin him down. He certainly ain't eating the same as the rest of us, that's for sure. I'm sure the cargo we have in the holes has something to do with a squad that went missing. Their leader, Jones, heard a legend about a room full of ancient solid gold statues from a Manchurian child emperor. They were said to be cursed, but that sounds like a load of baloney. I don't know if they found them, but they never did return from their mission. Maybe they're returning now. Oh no! Wait. This isn't right. What? What? 
There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me. I didn't, bitch. Chill. All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. Gotta get out of here too sweet. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Hey, we got a name on this guy. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Oh, this is going to be a bad idea. Not two people or two heads? Human? What is the deal with this place? Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Please hurry. I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. What the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Oh. Why so spick and span? no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? Any medicine we find in here? Problems, but a headache ain't one. Well, that better not be a veiled reference to me, mister.
looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. does not look remotely safe. Taking me. Now, why would I tell you? <sighs> tell me where we are going, damn it! know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? Stop. This fucking place is cursed. that noise what are you talking about i don't want to hear anything from you Olsen! Oh, Christ. 
That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, you go stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. your friends go I don't know what the fuck this is all about but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen no oh, I want to talk to my dead corpse friend God Olsen Mère Qu'est-ce que tu fais anyone there? That can't be a good sign. Jesus, what happened down here?
shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, shit. Oh my god, Brad, you're alive! Alright. Alright, let's go. Where are you hiding, honest to god? Buck up. Buck up, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on! This can't be good. Shamrock. What happened here? I swear, if one of you fuckers move while I'm having a gander about this room.
That's not... Okay guys, I'm going to leave this video here, this is um, going to be the end of part 3, um, really liking how the game's going so far, um, me and my girlfriend are coming up with theories on what we think is going on, um, if you've already seen the whole game and are just watching it anyway, don't leave any spoilers, but let me know your theories in the comment section below, and uh, we'll see who ends up coming right, which my voice didn't break there, anyway, I'll see you on the next video.